Hello folks, so today uh, from, we're coming uh, live from Barry Science Lab and we're going to be doing a logarithms problem. So this is the problem itself, so let's uh, get started with the problem. So the problem is to evaluate the following expression. Log base 2 of 3 times log base uh, 3 of 4 times log base uh, 4 of 5 uh, times log base 5 of 6 times log base 6 of 7 times log base 7 of 8 so at first this might seem like a very arduous problem because you have a lot of logs you have um, a lot of numbers that are prime so these won't result in a nice number but there's actually a really nice trick that can help you solve this kind of problem and the trick or the method really is to realize that you can use the chain rule of logarithms to easily solve this problem now what do I mean by the chain rule of logarithms well to try to solve this problem the first thing we have to do is break it down so first I'm going to be taking a look at this part of the expression so let's take a look at this part we have log base 2 of 3 times log base 3 of 4. So the first thing uh, you want to do when you have when you want to find the product of two logarithmic expressions with different bases is see if you can apply the change of base formula. But here that seems unnecessary so what I'm going to do is uh, set each of these expressions to a variable. So I'm going to say let x equal log base 2 of 3 and let y equals log base 3 or 4. So now what do I have here? I have 2 to the x equals 3 and 3 to the y equals 4. Now, what I'm going to try to show is that this logarithmic expression here, log base 2 of 3 times log base 3 of 4 is equal to log base 2 of 4, which is, in other words, just 2 but we don't need to know that just yet. So how do, can we show that uh, this logarithmic expression is equivalent to log base 2 of 4? Well, let's take a look at this over here. Um, first of all, I'm going to assign log base 2 of 4 also to a variable. Let's call it z. So we have that z is equal to log base 2 of 4. So now you know that 2 to the power of z is equal to uh, 4. So what does this tell us? Well, we have 2 to the x equals 3, 3 to the y equals 4, and 2 to the z equals 4. So now what we want to do is show that xy is equal to z. So what can we do? Well, we know that 2 to the x is equal to 3. So we just replace this 3 by 2 to the x. So we have 2 to the x times y is equal to 4. And we know 4 is the same thing as 2 to the z. So we replace 4 by 2 to the z. And so we're left with 2 to the xy is equal to 2 to the z. And because the bases are the same, you know the exponents are also the same. So xy is equal to z. So now we've just proved the chain rule for logarithms, which is that when you have, uh, when you have a logarithmic expression of the form log base a of b times log base b of c it will be equal to log base a of c so how can we how can we use this uh, chain rule of logarithms to help us solve this problem well it turns out after you realize this method the problem breaks down very easily so let me erase this because we're done with this part so turns out that the problem breaks down very nicely once you apply the chain rule to it. So, we're going to apply the chain rule to each of these two parts of the expression. First, we start off with log base 2 of 3 times log base 3 of 4. By the chain rule of logs, that's going to go into log base 2 of 4. Very simple. Same thing here. Log base 4 of 5 times log base 5 of 6 can go into log base 4 of 6. And we repeat it here log base 6 of 7 times log base 7 of 8 is going to go into log base 6 of 8. Now what we're going to do is multiply all of these. 
I have log base 2 of 4 times log base 4 of 6. This uh, result is the same thing as this base. So, we using the chain rule, we can rewrite this as log base 2 of 6. And now, we multiply this by this. So, log base 2 of 6 times log base 6 of 8. Once again, we have the same base as the same result. So, we can rewrite this as log base 2 of 8. And what seemed to be a very strange uh, problem with a very strange answer actually has a very neat answer, which is just 3. So uh, thanks for watching. I'll uh, see you next time with a better problem.